Ah. All right, so this is a Bob yeah. Fest. Yes. If, if anyone is surprised, I uh, please take this opportunity to uh, grab yourself some refreshment, maybe some popcorn, <laughs> this to make the, this enter as entertaining as you could possibly make it. Yes. This is a rematch of the Evo Grand Finals of, of uh, last year. Um, Let's make this a good Where Core beat Fab in that Grand Final. Pretty sure it was last year. I think it was last year. All right, who wins the poking game here? That's what I think determines this match. Okay, or who throws out launchers? Yes. <laughs> started. They they played in Texas oh. earlier, and Fab came out on top in most of the first attempts that they played at Texas. Uh, whatever that Texas tournament was, I forgot what one it was. So so far, most of the damage has been done by launchers, and in, in that one particular case, it was a bait with a wall standing to one. So jab baits. Jab baits are ter like very scary with Bob. Oh, we have to put the mic closer to it. Oh, there we go. I hope I don't inhale this thing. I'm, I'm good. But, okay. Oh! And Fab takes the first round. NYC's in the house, definitely. You can hear him in the background. This is one of the things about Tekken is uh, when someone from the same, someone from out of close comes and plays against it. Ooh. He yeah. could do that because Bob doesn't have really good punishment for it. He could have hop kicked that, though. Yeah, 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 that particularly could have yeah. happened. But you can run a bit riskier of the probability spectrum. Okay, he gets him with the jab bait, which offers a juggle on counter hit, yeah. which is really good. It makes people respect jabs more. Do I have to tag out? Yes, he doesn't punish the, the tag. Yeah, kicks and punches and kicks and punches. Yeah. Oh, the sidestep hop kick. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what we call hope kicks. Yeah, we're I mean, we're seeing a lot of launchers, not even just counting the launchers like what we saw there to check people, but we're seeing like launchers being tossed out. Wow. Oh, catches really? Miguel on the on the escape. Yeah, like a lot of this game is being able to limit the other guy Ooh. to one character. Good duck and launch by four. Probably gonna be able to take that to the wall. Yep. Now this is where the pressure game comes in. Okay, a bit of the pokey po Ooh, oh, that was, that was a good. That is hard to do, like to just look at Fab's punishment. Now Fab's going to be real nervous about throwing out that second hit. Because now he checked his poking game. Yep. Oh. He's got to poke. He's got to reestablish poking. And Miguel's doing it. Miguel's getting back the poke game. Wow, was that a taunt? I think he didn't oh. mean the taunt, but he definitely did it. Yeah, the tag crash, lose all, all his right. red health. Core taking it to Fab, and Core takes it. That round, 2-1. The, the delayed string at the end of the round gets him. Delay, ba uh, delay bait, also another way to allow people to, uh, or to allow further poking. Wow. Good read. Now, I mentioned before, this is a, this is towards the type of player that Fab does not enjoy playing against, because he's very unpredictable. Very crazy, yes. Oh, Half screen hell sweep and then gets hop kicked in the face for it. And that's Fab. Fab with the hope kicks. Yes. A little bit shaky here. But maybe he just wants to make sure that Core plays by the rules. Maybe he thinks that Core is a player that does not play by the rules. No. So he's insisting that he does with hop kicks. Making sure he stays honest with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that double low kick, you, it does not stagger if you block the first hit. You gotta block both of them and be confident about it. Ooh, ooh. No oh. whiff punish for Fab. Yeah, there was, there was a spot open there where Fab could have capitalized. Oh, ooh. now! Ooh. Yes. Here we go. Shoryuken does, is not as good in this game. Oh! That was an excellent combo. Good job. Difficulty points right there. Fab with the, putting out the cigarette button on the floor for the, for the round ender. Rounds two to two. Last round of this match, or this game. All right, feeling each other out, range two. Bob looking to come in. Treating each other to some poking. Ooh. Oh, you gotta check that. Core taking what damage you can. Fab tags out to save red life. And he protected that tag in with, uh, with, with the unblockable. With yeah. the unblockable. The only way to get him out of that is if you do do a low, or you try to throw him. Or no, something. you do an unblockable back to him. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get him out of it. And Fab oh. takes the first game. <laughs>
throw right. breaking. Two throws in this game, and, and neither were broken. And then Fab had to give the give the, the that's it sign, the, the slit in the throat, say that's it, it's a wrap. Oh no, but you never count Core out. When Core gets low on life, that's when Core gets scary. Now if you can get past that phase where he gets all bloodshot eyes and stuff, yeah. if you can get past that, then it's it's a little bit easier. But you gotta get past that stage. He's, he core grows in stages. All right, game two. Checking each other with mid pokes. Core. Ooh, that is tricky. That back that turn is setup. A, that is a good back turn setup. Some sidestep one plus two. Oh, oh, both of them. They're just trying to check each other's game, throwing out a, an electric <laughs> in their face. Gonna do another. Oh, okay. Slow forward two. Core, core slow. getting scary. Fab's got to slow it down here. Ooh. Yeah, slow it down just a bit. I'm giving people advice. I hope they can't hear me. I noticed that they might be able to. Okay, then I'm gonna, I'm going to talk louder Good. so that they can hear me. Nah, I'm, I'll be cool. I'll be cool. Core takes first round. All right. Mid poking, mid poking. They like range one. They do not like hanging out in range two. And that's why. Yeah, if you give Bob any space, he's got plenty of options to come in on you and scare you with plus frames. Electrics, rolling balls. Ooh. Yeah. Do not give this character space. This might be around. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, it doesn't. Doesn't punish the, the tag, uh, tag crap. Yeah, you got to space that just right or sidewalk. Oh, doesn't oh. get the wall splat with the big boot. Jab him. Jab him <laughs> back into the wall. Forcing, yeah, forcing the core back into the wall with a series of, of pokes. Very good. Tell one him you got to block after those. You can't just do something after. You got to yeah. block after those punishments. You got to play by the rules. Right now is, oh, gets him in the back with, with um, max damage. Ugh. With a stiff down four two, Ugh, another one. Yeah, really, it's both players trying to make the other player play by the rules. Yeah. You, you're gonna, you're gonna respect my style, and, and I'm gonna keep doing this regardless. Oh, kicks and punches, and kicks and punches, and kicks and punches. <laughs> Fighting out in range one again, a series of uh, counter hit launchers, sidestep one plus two. And basic Bob, Bob play. Right now, oh, gets finally finds the window. Oh, he's on the back two. of this. Yep, yep, back on the Hit wall. Confirms. Hit confirms the Cracker Jack. Oh, and he caught. Oh, East Coast is rising up right now. New York City in the house. Oh, he breaks the stun. Good job. Not too hard in this game. Not no, compared no. to previous game. Yes, do it. I approve. <laughs> that is, a, if you had a punch reversal, that is the perfect time to do a punch reversal. <laughs> oh, this does it. Fast, fast smelling advantage. the blood right now. I think though, he's gonna, he's gonna wait it out a little bit. All right, what happened? Oh, he was he was waiting for an opportunity. He was thinking Core was hunting his tag end. Oh, okay. I mean, better to take 30 damage on oh, the ground than low juggle than 120 damage with a wall juggle. You just gotta. You gotta hunt him down. Hunt in the tagging character. Fab tag crashes to get his character out. Loses all his red health from Miguel. Oh, oh. Lost one. no! You gotta hop kick that. Oh, you can't you can't hop kick it. Okay, too so slow. He's oh, really going. Right. He's proper punishment. Pro thank you, thank you, Mr. Hawk, for that information. I stand. To Ooh, and right. core. Oh wait, that was Fab. Fab two two. Core comes in with an electric. <laughs> and that sweep, that sweep was a bit telegraphed, but yeah. Core delays on his sweeps. Uh, it's not just... Ooh, back turn! Gets a lot no. of damage on that rate, off that net suit. Stepping, stepping the right way on Miguel, too. Yeah, stepping left. Very good. Good amount of knowledge. Uh, I mean, good amount of history between these two players. Yep. Getting, getting close, getting hype. Okay. Oh, does not catch the sweep. Brings life bars to roughly even. Bob with Netsu. Oh my Fab God. Bob. Oh boy. Oh, he's trying to read out that that sweep. Oh, Core tries to. Oh, he ducked. Don't stop ducking. Oh, can't. Oh. oh. 
Weird angle on the wall. Oh, it's getting close. Coming close. Oh, good. Good play. Good play. <laughs> Fab with the W. Filthy with an amazing look on his face. You can you can sort of see Filthy yeah, you can with, that, see with that odd sort of look upon his face. <laughs> the one, yeah, that's, that's, that's Filthy. All right, so this is what I was talking about. Now that first match sets up the dynamics of the loser's bracket now. Now Core is out of the tournament. Fab moves up. Now what happens here and the history has says, basically states that GM usually gets by Bloodhawk. Bloodhawk has never beaten GM in a tournament and a major anyway. And then GM has a very hard time. Against Fab. Uh, Bloodhawk has beaten Fab, Fab before yes. in the tournament with so Warong at final round so 11. So that first match.